Hello little ladies and gentlemen, I will be casting for you today a match between Sudden Rush and Antox. These guys were playing yesterday in the tournament that was organized by the community. And this is my first webcast of a little war game a match. And uh, I hope you will forgive me if I'm uh, a little shaky, a little unexperienced, but I'll try to do my best and hopefully I'll be able to do more of those if you guys can send me some replays because they are not very easy to find. The two scouts are meeting each other here at the center while the players chat a little. It seems that they will both be able to scout each other's bases and they are pretty much having mirror builds here both are going for wolves I wonder if they also have the same idea for uh, what they're going to do in the late game because so far they are pretty much doing the same thing here while this, game's, while this game picks up I would like to give a shout out to the main man Jibs for making this game uh, the, the wonderful game it is today. I... It seems that a little harass is going down here, which is not too bad, considering having uh, one less wolves than, than your opponent is a pretty bad place to be. If I was Antox, I would be pulling out a little a bit more workers, maybe one or two, to finish these buildings because as you can see Sudden Rush is starting to produce wolves already and it doesn't seem like it will it will be a, a nice scenario for Antox to be in. He is building a tower which will help and he's got his uh, his expansion here uh, kind of well protected, but the timing for the wolves, the red wolves coming from Sudden Rush, is pretty bad. He isn't even able to finish the, his own wolf then, which is pretty bad. And he's losing workers left and right. Antox is at about half the supply of Sudden Rush now. And I have to say that I favor Sudden Rush in this one. As I was saying though, as I was saying though, uh, I like to give a shout out to Jibs for making Little War Game the awesome game it is today. I think I, I started playing about a year ago maybe, I'm not sure. And man, so much has been added into the game since then. Upgrades, buildings, units, uh, mods now, and it, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a pretty decent game, and I hope it continues to grow. And who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll do some more of these videos. Okay, perhaps the situation here has stabilized. Considering Antox has the tower now, he's he's in a little better spot to defend himself. The question is that Sudden Rush is a little forward. You can see he has... Uh, actually now they are pretty much even. So it seems that this game will even out, will normalize. And perhaps we will watch a late game after all. Who knows? He's even driving out his opponent's army, going for the counter-attack. Sudden Rush has no tower in his base, which is not a good position to be in. You can see how much work the tower did to help uh, Antrox back below. With the Wolves then here, I think that the defense is going to be successful because Sudden Rush can keep spawning more wolves for his defense. 
Actually, Antox doesn't seem too worried about fighting. Instead, he wants to harass the workers. He wants to see what's happening in the base, but actually not much is happening. As I said before, these two players are pretty much uh, with the same build here. I wonder why they chose this. Probably because the map has a good distance to to Singer Wolves could be any base. It's it's not too short so you won't be overwhelmed by soldiers and archers and it's not so long as in some other maps where it will take a lot of time for your wolves to get there so I guess it's a, a pretty decent sized map for wolves Antox is upgrading to a fortress here so I guess we'll be seeing dragons and Sudden Rush is probably doing something here. He's he's gonna stick to wolves. He's gonna keep trying to force a situation a bad situation for his opponent by constantly attacking with wolves. I would say though that he needs uh, a little more houses, a few more houses, and a few more den dens because. You really can't put pressure if you have the same amount of dance as your opponent. You know you want to have one or two maybe more than him. So that your attack your attacks can can get more damage then. I'd say that Intox has played pretty well so far. He's got another tower going, which means this expansion will hardly be touched by Sudden Rush's forces because it will, be, it will be hard to get in, the wolves on both sides have no upgrades so these towers can do a lot of damage to the wolves from this position he can expand a third base which he will need to, to because dragons are expensive, if that's what he's going for with this fortress. And there's no way that Sudden Rush can actually break this defense. As you can see, he has um, similar numbers of wolves. And this base here is much better guarded. So with two wolves then on each side, I think it will be really hard to break this one. Okay, here is another one coming, a fortress coming too. I guess Sudden Rush was uh, mapping up a bit, playing uh, more economically oriented. Um, yeah, it does seem that he has more workers after all which is a good spot to be in if, you, if you're both going for dragons because now he has more wolves then which means he will be able to apply more pressure he has more money coming in which will be good for his dragons while while here we get Three dragon lairs for in two bases. I really think it will be hard to keep making dragons, which cost almost 300 gold now. It's a lot of money. I'd say that if you want to have three of those, you need to be on three bases. But he is in a pretty good spot to to expand here. As you can see, Sudden Rush is even trying to check if there's an expansion going on already. The thing is, Sudden Rush now has more wolves. And it will be... It won't be impossible, but it will be hard for Antox to get a, an expansion going. If so many wolves, they can attack any time, they're sitting right out of his base. So yeah, it will be a challenge for sure. 
The dragons that will come out are very nice because the wolves can attack them. But there will be dragons coming from Sudden Rush soon. So I'll guess that if any of those players starts upgrading their, their beast abilities, they will be in a good position here. Actually, Antox had a lot of money saved up to, to make three dragons, it seems. Though, we'll have to see how effective this is. Two dragon lairs for Sudden Rush, the upgrades coming in, as I said. And, yeah, it's a. It's a, a pretty funny game because it's a, a a mirror match, pretty much. So I guess the better player will win. This time you can't really say, wow, this strategy was good, this strategy was bad, or this strategy countered the other one, because they are so alike. Antox is pretty much losing his window of opportunity here because he has these dragons doing nothing they could have been destroying these wolves for, I don't know, maybe a minute now or at least driving them away so that he can expand well, he's doing it now, I think he should have done it a little bit sooner Lugia is the, is the tournament organizer, he is hosting another tournament today, I hope that I'll be able to reach him and ask him to uh, save the replace for me, because I absolutely love to cast both of those. This is an interesting fight, because Intox has the air power, and he can abuse it, he has 4 dragons right now and even if dragons come out from Sudden Rush they probably won't be enough to save the day for him so will this be GG? we'll have to see he's got towers done now the towers will help a lot I mean if he, if he can get if he can kill two of these four dragons, he'll probably be in a good place. But it sounds like these guys will survive, and with them surviving, it will be so hard for Sudden Rush to regain his economy. And as I said before, this base is very well guarded. We have attacks coming from the air, we have three towers, but there was a, an empty space that let the wolves come in, which is very good. So, maybe these economies will stabilize, we'll probably have to see. Both bases are being attacked right now, I mean... Both attacks are, are dying out, pretty much. But as I said, with only two dragons here, one dragon now, uh, there's still a chance for Sudden Rush to be in the game. I'm actually loving this game, because it's so back and forth. First, at the very beginning, Sudden Rush almost won the game. Then things turned around. Now, I guess, it's anyone's guess. The game is pretty balanced. We're 15 minutes almost into the game, and I love balanced games like that. We can see both players sh show their true skills. And believe me, if you can get to 15 minutes in a game like this, it means that both are good players, and it's actually quite fun to watch them both play. So yeah, both of them now are 
kind of licking their wounds. I guess Sudden Rush has an expansion, though it is not mining, but that is a good place to be. Perhaps he's, he's thinking, I'll, I'll send another wave of attack. I'll waste my money on... I'm sorry, I'll use my money on units, make another attack and see if I can break through. If I can't, then I'll start using my expansion. And that's probably what Anthrox is thinking too, because he is not making an expansion. He's gonna go for a workshop, pro probably to make ballistas against the dragons. Though he pretty much has the best air power here, I don't think he will need them. He also doesn't really need catapults, because his opponent's base is kind of... it's not very dense. I guess we'll see what, what goes on. From the looks of it, it seems that Anthrax has now the better placement here. And you know, when you have so many dragons, you bet these workers are going to run for their lives. The tower is going down. Even Lugia is, is asking for a GG. He probably wants to get this game done with so he can Start the next one, keep the tournament moving. There is a counter-attack going on here, but... Anthrox is not even paying attention to it, it's not important. It's not gonna do much damage. He is getting rid of those pesky watchtowers. And I guess... I guess now this game is probably over. He's gonna lose, uh, I'm sorry, Sudden Rush is gonna lose all his workers pretty soon. Yeah, that is a great question. As I said before, how can Anthrox from two bases keep making three dragons? Okay, GG, that's it. And that, that is a really a good question. I'll have to, to watch the video once... Uh, it is done encoding to see how much money he saved up front because I guess that's that could be his secret if he saved some money before building the dragons then once they were done he had he could have a lot of money to keep producing them but I'm just not sure if you if you know the answer please leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you and like and subscribe if you want to keep in touch with new videos. I'll try to get some more replays. But please, please, if you're seeing this and you're a, a player, a decent player, and you want to have your games cast and commentated on, I'll leave my email on the description box so you can send some replays to me. It helps a lot because actually it's harder to get the replays, good replays, than to cast these games. So I hope you enjoy, I'll try to get some more replay files for the coming tournaments today and leave a comment below if you wanna tell me if you'd like the video or not. Have fun, bye bye!